Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Bob Belknap, and I am the Vice President for Institutional Advancement at Missouri Military Academy, and I'd like to thank you for joining us tonight. I've had the pleasure of watching your cadets over the last couple weeks prepare for tonight's event. They're doing extraordinary things in trying times. In short, they're giving their very best to bring this event to you tonight. I would ask that you do no less by them and give your all. As you know, the Maroon and Gold Gala is our largest fundraising event all year. And we need your help now more than ever. This year, we have a new online platform called Qtego. If you look at the bottom of your screen, there's directions on how to register Qtego and make a donation. So one of the first things that we're going to ask you to do is give to the annual fund. We'll also use this platform for our silent and live auction items. This year's maroon and gold event primarily features cadets, but I would be remiss if I didn't talk about our amazing faculty and staff. Missouri Military Academy is more than just a school. It's a place where young men are changed for the better for the rest of their lives. And our faculty and staff play an integral role in that transformation. As you can see by these slides, our faculty exhibit a high degree of professionalism, flexibility, and dedication. They truly care about your cadets. Now sit back and enjoy the evening as Pipe Major Donaldson plays the bagpipes for us and tells us the good news about a new program he's bringing to MMA. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Pipe Major Brian Donaldson, and I'm the Pipe Major here at Missouri Military Academy. I initiated the bagpipe program approximately three months ago, and we're doing extremely well. I have students on three pieces of music. However, to be able to um, go forward, we need to be able to buy instruments, bagpipes. I have the cadets on practice chanters, which are very, very similar to a recorder, and this is how we learn all the finger technique that's required to be able to play this instrument. We need to progress and get the cadets onto bagpipes, so we need your assistance. We also need to be able to buy the kilted uniform like I'm wearing, the Glengarry cap, the jacket, the belt, the kilt, sporran, socks, and shoes. So we're looking for your assistance, and it would be very much appreciated. Thank you very much. Thank you, Pipe Major Donaldson. I wish I was a cadet again so that I could be part of your class and learn how to play the pipes. For those of you in the audience, we'll have more on the cost of this program in the weeks ahead. But now it's my honor to introduce the amazing MMA Concert Band.
Thank you, cadets. I know how hard you've been practicing, and it shows. Ladies and gentlemen, our next presentation is given by our cadet leaders on MMA's core values. Core values are those sets of fundamental beliefs, ideals, or practices that inform how you conduct your life, both professionally and personally. Please enjoy the presentation led by Cadet Battalion Commander John Murphy. Welcome to the virtual Maroon and Gold. My name is Bruno Fosani, and I'm from Sao Paulo, Brazil. I represent the core value of duty. To me, duty means doing what I believe in. It is my obligation to be a better person, to reach my fullest potential, and to make this world a better place. Good evening, honored faculty and staff. I am Cadet Delil Belko. I'm from Kigali, Rwanda, and I represent the core value of academic excellence. Academic excellence means putting all my effort into my grades, doing my best, and seeking knowledge for knowledge's sake. Greetings, distinguished alumni. My name is Cadet Eric Gentry, and I am a legacy cadet. I am from Hyannis, Nebraska, and I represent the core value of loyalty. Loyalty is being reliable and always true. I am loyal to my family and friends because I am always there for them, and they can always count on me. Hello, distinguished visitors. My name is Cadet Sun Kit Tsui. I am from Hong Kong, China, and I represent the core value of honor. Honor means doing what you believe to be right and being confident that you have done what is right. To our honored guests, salutations. My name is Cadet Shane Macon. I am from Baker City, Oregon, and I represent the core value of integrity. Integrity means following your moral or ethical convictions and doing the right thing in all circumstances, even if no one is watching you. Hello, Mom and Dad. My name is Cadet Gorkaitoria Artesartuche, and I am a legacy cadet. I am from Lisbon, Portugal. I represent the core value of respect. To me, respect means being polite and kind, 
To me, it is honoring my mom and dad. Buenas noches. My name is Kevin Mauricio Trevino. I am from Torreón, Mexico. I represent the value of personal courage. Personal courage isn't the absence of fear, but rather the ability to set fear aside to do what's right and necessary. Salutations. I am Cadet Devontae Knight, and I am from Chicago, Illinois, and I represent the core value of selfless service. To me, selfless service means putting others above myself. Selfless service also means serving my family, my school, my community, and my country. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I'm John Murphy from Kansas City, Missouri, and I'm the battalion commander of the 131st Corps of Cadets here at Missouri Military Academy. I represent the core value of leadership. A good leader is honest, inspirational, intelligent, and fights for what he believes to be right. The core values that you have just heard are not simply words on paper. They are values that I and all my fellow cadets around me vow to live by today and for the rest of our lives. Thank you, Cadet Murphy, for that amazing presentation. It's clear that each of our cadets are living the nine core values and have taken to heart what each value means to them personally. Now, remove your cover, stand at attention, and help me sing old MMA.
The next presentation blew me away when I first saw it. It's led by Zach Sicardi, the captain of our Fusiliers. Slayers, host! Slayers, ho! Center, face!
Fusiliers, attention. Huh. Left, hit. Port, huh. Forward, huh. Greetings. My name is Cadet First Sergeant Zach Fusicardi. I am the team captain of the MMA Fusiliers, and I would like to give you a brief overview of our team and all we have accomplished this year. There are 14 team members, ages 13 and 19, representing five states and five countries. Since August, we have practiced 10 times a week, Monday to Friday, two practices a day, and work exponentially hard to reach the level of expertise that we have obtained. This year, we have earned 23 trophies, competing in color guard, unarmed regulation, armed regulation, and exhibition. Over the years, the Fusiliers have won numerous national titles. The past two years, we have competed in the Amscus Drill Competition, in which we have placed first both times, which means we're the best drilled military school in the country. The MMA Fusilier team has been severely picked out by myself and my drill coach, Mr. Dillinger. The cadets chosen must have exceptional military bearing, be well disciplined, must excel in academics, and must stand out beyond the core cadets. The cadets you have just seen perform are making MMA history in every single competition we perform in. And we won't stop now. We demand perfection. We turn drill precision into an art, and we master that art. Future leaders don't only do it for ourselves, but we do it for our school and our own legacy. Future leaders have a bond like no other, and we let no one front upon us or one another. We are the backbone of the Corps of Cadets. We are the example of what a cadet should be. We are the Fusilier teams. We are the elite of this institution. We are the Fusiliers, and it is my honor to present to you the 2019-2020 Drill Competition Team. That was fantastic. It's no wonder our Fusiliers take first place in all competitions. Now comes that part in our program that used to be called Raise the Paddle, but this year it's slightly different because we're doing it online using Qtego. If you go to Qtego, you'll see a tab that says InstaBid, and Cadet Evan Schreier will give an overview of the top five fund -to need projects we're working on. You can go to InstaBid, and make a donation to any one of the five projects or all five projects. The money raised tonight will be restricted to whichever project you make a donation to. Now it's my honor to introduce Cadet Evan Schreier, who will give a brief presentation on our top five fund -to need projects. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Evan Schreier. I'm a three-year cadet from Dallas, Texas, and I'm here tonight to speak with you about some of the many projects we are currently working on at MMA, the first of which is our baseball field renovation. Equipment needed, a pitching machine. This machine would be used indoors in the field house in conjunction with the batting cage that has already been purchased. The benefit to using this style of machine is that the ball is thrown using a simulated arm that mimics the throwing motion of a pitcher. This allows the batters to get their timing down on each and every pitch. Estimated cost is $3,000. We also need an LED scoreboard. This wireless scoreboard, complete with pitch count display, would update the model that is currently located on the baseball field. Estimated cost is $13,000. The ability to light the baseball field is a must. Currently, the varsity game can usually be completed before we lose sunlight, but the junior varsity are frequently cut short. They are lucky to even play one inning due to the fact that our baseball field does not have lights. Estimated cost is $280,000. Historically speaking, the MMA soccer team has been one of our most successful teams since it was first introduced in the 1983-1984 season. 
The Colonels went 5-1 and one in that first season under longtime intramural soccer club coach, Coach Fedora. Since then, the Colonels have won 11 district championships and a fourth place state trophy in 1992, while amassing a combined win-loss record of 335 wins, 148 losses in 35 seasons. The ability to light our soccer field is a must for a program such as ours. MMA possesses one of the best natural grass playing surfaces in the central United States, and having lights will allow us to host many tournament and state playoff games without having to rent lights by the day. This plan also includes lights to shine on the practice field adjacent to Colonel's Field, which is used for a wide array of multiple activities. Estimated cost is $260,000. The Colonel Rifle Team has had an extremely strong showing over the past few years. They finished the year ranked 19th nationally at the Camp Perry National Rifle Championships and have set school records using outdated competition air rifles. We are trying to expand our competition rifle team to allow more cadets the opportunity to compete at the national level and we must update our inventory. Estimated cost of 10 new rifles is $6,000. The electronic scoring system is identical to what is used at the national championships at Camp Perry, Ohio. This is designed for 10 to 15 meter air rifles. LED illumination of the target faces provides for extremely high accuracy and immediate results. Adjustable for all firing positions. Cost per firing lane is $4,950. We would like to add five lanes to help improve our productivity during practice times. Estimated cost, $25,000. MMA cadets are eager to participate in the re-energized equestrian program. Approximately 30 to 45 cadets per year enroll in the after-school program, which teaches them Western trail riding techniques, as well as overall horse care and maintenance. Cadets are also exposed to stable and herd management, grooming, farrier, and veterinary calls, Circular classes are now being offered during the regular scheduled day, which adds another 15 cadets to the program. Equipment needed. New stables and indoor riding area. While the barn currently in use has a tremendous historical and sentimental value, it is falling apart with age. There are multiple holes in the exterior wood that is from the original construction and is in desperate need of an upgrade. Estimated cost, $150,000. To meet MMA's transportation needs for cadet activities, a 24-seat turtle top transit van is needed for cadet transportation. This vehicle will allow MMA to transport up to 24 cadets, faculty, and staff in safety and comfort. This 24-passenger bus is more economical to operate than a full-sized bus and is well-sized to transport cadets to daily events, activities, and classes at places such as Presser Performing Arts Center, Hart Career Center, and William Woods University are key strategic partners in educating our cadets. It will also help transport cadets to field trips and other recreational activities, plus transport to military competitions such as our Fusiliers, Raiders, Honor Guard, and Color Guard, and all of our athletic teams. Estimated cost, $70,000. Thank you, Cadet Schreier, for that inspirational presentation. Please go to Cutego, click on the InstaBid, and donate to your favorite project, be it one or all five. We will keep the site open until April 1st at 9 p.m. when we will close all bidding, the InstaBid, and the donation site. So until then, keep raising those paddles and donating to the myriad of projects that we have here at MMA. And now, please rise as we play the MMA fight song.
Thank you everyone for joining us this evening for our most important annual fundraising event. I wanna thank all of our sponsors and everyone who has donated to our online auction. While some military schools are struggling across the nation, the cadets at Missouri Military Academy are thriving. However, we still need your support in an ever-changing and unpredictable environment. Things can change quickly as we have seen in the last month. And there are changes that will present challenges for us in the near future. For maroon and gold this year, we really wanted to showcase our cadets. I wanna make it clear that the cadets directly benefit from the funds that we raise. With the many concerns that we currently have, our cadets have stepped up and performed. We have high expectations for all of our cadets, and when it's showtime, they never let us down. It is absolutely remarkable that the staff and cadets put every single performance together since their return from spring break. It is truly incredible and a testament to their teamwork, talent, self-discipline, and hard work. I cannot express how impressed I am with the cadets, staff, and faculty. From what you have seen this school year, to include this evening, we continue to execute our strategic plan and are making clear progress. Let there be no doubt that we are a military school with a military educational model to guide and encourage our cadets to do more than they ever thought possible. Once again, thank you for your generosity and support.
he won my coterie breeches, I put on my coterie breeches, I put on to work upon a railway. Tiggity oody oody ay, tiggity on the railway. I moved to crew, tried to earn a bob or two from walking on the railway. Tiggity oody oody ay, tiggity oody oody ay, tiggity oody oody ay, you're working on the railway. In 1843, I broke me shovel across me knee and went to work for the company of the Leeds and Selby Railway. Tiggity oody oody ay, tiggity oody oody ay, Tiggity oody oody ay, you're working on the railway. In 1844, I landed on the Liverpool shore. I was hungry, I was sore from walking on the railway. Tiggity oody oody ay, tiggity oody oody ay, tiggity oody oody ay, you're working on the railway. I said my prayers to stay alive. I was lucky I survived working on the railway. Tiggity oody oody ay, tiggity oody oody ay, tiggity oody oody ay, you're working on the railway. Working on the road. 